Today, I'm going to do a quick review on Zwift running. Good morning. Today, I'm going to do a quick review on Zwift running. All you're going to need is one little foot pod, like so, which I picked up from Amazon for about £30, one treadmill, and something to play it on. And the idea is really simple. Basically, the foot pod connects via Bluetooth to your iPad or iPhone or any other Android device or Apple TV and your little avatar on screen will speed up when you speed up, slow down when you slow down, and so on. Unlike the, uh, the cycling version, the treadmill doesn't add resistance, but uh, here you go, so you can see. I'm just walking along here quite quickly at six kilometers an hour with a cadence of 114. I haven't got my heart rate monitor on, but if I had the heart rate strap on, that would then pick up my heart rate too. Zwift is giving us three options today to choose where we're going to run. Uh, our virtual run could either be in Watopia, which is its standard running uh, platform, France or Paris. Now these, these routes in Paris and France are pretty much exactly the real routes you can do. As you'll see, I'll take a screenshot of my run and I will choose Paris. And uh, hopefully you can get a good idea of what it's like. But I find Zwift an excellent tool for for basically just beating that sort of boredom of the treadmill, that just sort of standard grudge, that monotony of just plodding along. And instead of plodding along, you could actually go in some virtual world and also race with other people. You can run with other people, you can meet up with other people all around the world, uh, you can choose to do races, so there's a com competitive side as well. And this is all linked up to Strava, so you'll be able to see the feed at the end. And uh, yeah, as I said, it's a really good tool. So if it's bucketing down with rain outside or horrible or wintry or icy or whatever the weather conditions or even if you're just a bit bored of being outside and you want to change it you can just come in here and uh, jump on so I appreciate that not everyone's going to have a treadmill at home but I bet people that do have treadmills don't realize that you can get this platform and for Zwift running I'm about 99% sure it's free um, all you have to pay for is the foot pod which is about 30 pounds um, I double, I triple check that, but I know that Zwift for the cycling application, you do have to pay. But uh, for this running one, I'm pretty sure it's free. Anyway, enough chat. Let's dive in and get involved. Here we go. And here we are in Zwift. So I actually chose to go for France instead of Paris, um, just because I thought Paris was a little bit limited um, on the display. And here we are loading. So that's me there warming up with my little. Uh, little visor on, my blue socks and my white t-shirt, and here we go. So, as, it, as, it, as I said, as soon as your foot starts moving, your little avatar on screen starts moving, and off you go. Well, that was the Zwift running. Um, I was a good 60 minutes on the um, treadmill there, and I had to sort of finish it there because this guy here, old Rufus, needs to get out for a walk. Hey, Rufus. So yeah, I've still got the little footboard actually on my on my shoe here. I went for the hocker, uh, the Bondi's uh, Bondi Six, 
in wide. Um, it's a good one for the treadmill because it just it's just got loads of loads of thick bouncy cushion on there, so it kind of takes the uh, takes the pressure off running on a treadmill. Um, it's a nice big big old shoe. And if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to click that subscribe button, and it'll be very much appreciated. Many thanks. See you soon.